Hi makeup friends, I hope you all are doing well. This is the second video that I'm filming in this same look for you guys. And I really, really wanted to give you guys um, a review on the LA Girl Pro Matte HD um, Longwear Matte Foundation because this has been super, super hyped on YouTube and within the beauty community for a couple months now i want to say but we have recently um received it here in trinidad and tobago from our local beauty store which is wonderful world and i believe there's one other seller la moda chic who carries that So I'm going to get into a couple details about the foundation and let you know my thoughts on it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. So in my previous haul video, I swatched the LA Girl eyeliners from you, which is from the same line. This is LA Girl, that was LA Girl. And these are supposed to be stay on eyeliners. And I just wanted to show you guys how fantastic these eyeliners are. They don't budge. I am wearing the nude one right now. So... Yes, if you guys want an in-depth review on these eyeliners, let me know because those are a really great find that I found in Wonderful Will. So, talking about this LA Girl Foundation. Now, this LA Girl Foundation um, retails locally for $64.00. Um, I believe in Wonderful World and then La Moda Chic is this local seller that I believe has it as well and they have it for about nine or ten dollars cheap and they sell it for fifty five dollars however I believe that they are located in Shagonas and if you are not from that area it may be difficult to get to them I'm not sure if they do um, delivery or anything like that but then again it still might be hard to pick your shade if you cannot get to the store to do a tester now these are available in Wonderful World and we have tons of Wonderful Worlds, uh, Wonderful World outlets all over Trinidad and Tobago and these do come on a stand that has testers on them. So I went to purchase the shade after this which I can't remember the name right now and when I when I swatched the tester, I found that it was really, really orange so I decided to go for the one before it. Now. This foundation claims to be a long wearing matte foundation. I do have oily skin so for um, for you ladies who may have drier skin or dry combination skin I'm not sure if you're going to like this foundation because it is a mattifying foundation. Um, it says matte liquid foundation medium to full coverage smooth long wear suede finish and the color that I do have is sand now I will say this foundation coming in this glass bottle um, frosted glass bottle as compared to the little samples that are on this on that are on the display for you to test from the shade it, it's very deceiving trying to pick this up you would never i would never pick this shade up and then think that this would match me it looks way too light for me and i am wearing this foundation right now so by just looking at the foundation there's no way to just kind of pick your color because it does not what comes out of the bottle is not how it looks on the front of the bottle so thank goodness that they were testers for me to be able to try it out on my face and decide which shade looked better for me now in my experience i always find it it easier to get a foundation that is a little too light than one that is too dark if a foundation is too light for me I can always bronze up my skin mix in a little concealer um, I can always make a lighter foundation work for me rather than getting something that is too dark and then trying to lighten it up although I guess you can do the same thing if you get something that's too dark you can use a lighter concealer to kind of um, brighten up certain areas of your face but I prefer to go too light than too dark but I did test a little bit of this in the store on my face and it did match me quite well now this foundation does oxi oxidize a tiny bit and I have oily skin and I believe foundation oxidizes a bit more when you do have oily skin it's something with the mixture of the air and the oil and the foundation and all of that so I would suggest still even going maybe a little lighter than your um, skin tone when choosing this foundation because it does oxidize a tiny bit now as I mentioned earlier there are only 15 shades of this foundation and how they did it was they did like five light shades five medium shades five darker shades so hopefully even if you don't get one that matches you exactly you will get 
you could be able to buy two foundations and sort of mix it and match it to your skin tone now this is one of the most inexpensive foundations that i do own currently i do have other drugstore foundations but i don't think i've ever paid well there was one foundation that i did own that was even cheaper than this which is the jordana foundation in the squeezy tube and quite a lot of people like that foundation it wasn't my cup of tea so i kind of got rid of it early on but that was the cheapest foundation that i've ever owned because it was about 30 something dollars but this is the cheapest foundation that i have in my collection and i must say that this foundation is bay i absolutely love this foundation it does um it does last a very very long time on me and i am super super oily i want to say that i i get at least maybe five or six hours wear out of this foundation before i do need to blot um i do use really good mattifying primers with it like today i have on my makeup forever mattifying primer or i will wear my becca ever matte um primer with it but I've even tried this with my hourglass primer and I get fantastic results meaning a long way of time out of it when I use those um, primers I've never really tried any other well I have used like my Smashbox um, cream based primer but even when I do wear that I still go and put a mattifying primer down the center of my face so that I don't get too oily too quickly but I will do that with any foundation just because I am very very oily so besides the long wear out of this foundation the finish is just beautiful they do describe it as a suede finish and I must agree they do say it's a medium to full coverage I must agree because you can get this medium if you go one pump you can get this full coverage if you go two pumps and you know that i mostly always do two pumps of foundation i hardly ever do one i absolutely love that this comes with a pump and you can control the pump meaning that if you just want half a pump you can get half a pump if you want one full pump you can some pumps do not come like that some of them you could just press it once and get one pump of foundation but this pump can be controlled but everything that this foundation claims to be i absolutely agree it is medium to full coverage it does it is mattifying it does give you a suede finish i absolutely love this foundation and i am seriously considering getting a backup of this um foundation just to have because i feel myself going to be able to go through this really really quickly up to date my favorite foundation has been the maybelline fit me matte and poreless but this has come now and blown it out of the water this is my absolute newest favorite foundation the only other foundation that i absolutely love um besides this one is my nas all the luminous and that is a very thin watery foundation it does need to be built up but it leaves you with a beautiful finish on the skin and that is what i appreciate about this foundation now some people love the l'oreal pro matte foundation that is a good mattifying um, foundation but for me it is absolutely too matte it makes me look really really quick um cakey quickly and i feel as though that foundation can't really be set but this foundation is b i a hundred percent recommend this foundation this was worth all of the hype that i was going through on youtube this foundation is perfect 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 for a drugstore foundation it is super super fantastic now i do have oily acne prone skin and this foundation hasn't broken me out anymore it doesn't settle into any fine lines it sits well on the skin it just I cannot think of one negative thing to say about this foundation maybe other than the shade range the shade range could have been a little more inclusive but drugstore foundations hardly ever are that inclusive just because the cost of it I don't think they bother to make too too many shades of it I don't know but you can definitely try getting two and mixing it but even if you had to buy two foundations to mix to make your perfect shade you still wouldn't even spend anywhere close to a high-end foundation and this gives me high-end foundation feels i absolutely a hundred percent endorse this foundation it is totally totally worth it and i have used many different um powders and concealers on top of this and all of them sit really really well on top of this foundation i have not had a problem with this but other than the shade range i cannot think of a, a, a negative thing to say about this foundation it's fantastic even the packaging looks high-end it's so fancy it's a standard one fluid ounce of foundation which is standard with any foundation and comes with a pump and i think you can yeah you can take this off so if you're coming down to the end of it and you have a little spatula you can scrape every bit out of it but 
this foundation is bay 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 i'm going to get a backup of it i absolutely love it if there is anything that i did not answer that you want to know on the foundation please let me know but it is medium to full coverage your price point is good the shade range is is okay it's decent you hopefully fingers crossed you can mix and get your foundation because i would def your your shade because i would definitely say if you're oily skin that is super super fantastic to try i don't know for you drier skin girls if you can probably try a really good moisturizing primer and stuff underneath this to see if you can make this work for you i can't talk so much on dry skin because i don't have dry skin but fun freaking tastic i love it love it love it i've only felt like I, I needed to get a backup of very few foundations but that is definitely one of them hands down it's perfect so that is my newest favorite drugstore foundation that has blown my maybelline out of the water but um yeah if there's anything that i forgot to answer if you wanted to ask me on that foundation definitely leave a question below and i will try to answer it as best as i can but i 100 percent recommend that foundation it's totally fantastic thank you so much for watching guys um i am still filming on my phone so i don't want to make the videos too too long in case it cuts off on me but i hope this review was helpful um i hope it has helped you make up your mind on that foundation and yes so just a, a quick tip if you are going to purchase this in wonderful world i would definitely um recommend you swatching a little bit on your face maybe walking around a little bit see if it oxidizes or not and then pick up your shade based on that and do not go by the shade of the bottle because it is very um it's not it's not the same look at how light this is and look at the color that it is so it does oxidize but it comes out darker than it looks so this is very deceiving the packaging is deceiving but i find that to be the case with most frosted bottles anyway that has been my review thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll talk to you guys soon bye